So here is an example of optimization with cost, revenue, and profit. So we've got a company that's selling a product and has determined that they can use the following demand equation, P is equal to 500 minus Q, to determine what they should set their price P at to sell Q number of items. So for example, if we wanted to sell, yeah, so if we want to sell, say, 100 items, the price we should set that at, our item at, is $400. So that's what our demand function can tell us. This demand function is generally linear, and you could solve it for quantity or you could solve it for price because it's linear. Um, so it kind of just depends on what you need it to do. So ours is solved for price, which that's fine. We'll see why um, here in a minute. And then the cost of producing Q number of items is C of Q is equal to 150 plus 10 Q. So we want to determine the number of items a company must sell to maximize their profit and to find the maximum profit. So profit, let's see, we don't have any profit equation given to us. We've got our demand equation. We've got cost. What I know about profit is that it's going to be the revenue minus the cost. And we don't have a revenue function either, but we do have a cost function. That is our 150 plus 10 Q. So we know that what, for whatever our revenue is, we're gonna have minus this cost function that we have. And with our cost function, that 150, that is a fixed cost. We have to pay that no matter how many items we make. And then we've got 10, which is our variable cost. And that's our cost per item. So for each thing we make, it costs us $10 to make um, each one. And it's also important that we have parentheses around that cost function because we need to subtract both pieces of that. Um, so that's going to be important when we actually figure out what revenue is. So revenue, let's go over here. That is how much money we bring in. And this is, you know, before cost is thought in. So this is just straight how much money we make from selling our items. So this is going to be whatever price we set our item at times the number of items that we sell. So our price times our quantity. And that's just how much money is brought into our company. And then the profit's going to kind of, you know, take, bring into consideration that cost. So our price well, price is P, and then quantity is Q, and then we've got this demand function up here that price is equal to 500 minus Q. So if we replace price with 500 minus Q, then we've got 500 minus Q times Q, that's gonna give us our revenue. So we just use the distributive property and get our revenue function, so 500Q minus Q squared. So there's our revenue function and we can plug this in to our profit function up here so that we get profit is equal to 500Q, oops, can't draw Q this morning, minus Q squared, minus 150 plus 10Q. So now we just need to simplify things, combine like terms is really what I mean. So we need to distribute that minus sign. That's really important. We've got to subtract both pieces of that cost function. And our profit's going to be negative Q squared. I hate writing it that way, but, but it's okay. Uh, plus 490Q from our 500Q minus 10Q and then minus 150. Now that we've got our profit function, that's what we want to actually maximize. So now we can take the first derivative and we can set that first derivative equal to zero to get our critical point. We can solve for Q and we are going to get that Q is equal to 245. So this is the quantity that we believe is going to give us our maximum profit. We can, you know, always check to make sure that this is actually going to be a maximum. So let's say we pick a quantity of zero and maybe a quantity of 250 to make sure that, you know, here at 245 that we actually think we have a maximum here. 
So the derivative of profit when quantity is zero is 490 and our derivative when the quantity is 250 This is negative 10, so our graph is increasing and then it's decreasing. So yeah, with our critical point, we can be pretty assured that yeah, we've got a maximum there. So that's how many items we need to sell. And then our maximum profit is just then a matter of us plugging that quantity into our profit function, being careful with our signs, all of that stuff, making sure that we're making it negative after we square it. And we get 62,325 is our maximum profit. So maybe we'll write a sentence here that if we sell 245 items, making sure to get the units there, we will maximize the profit at, again, making sure we get our units on there. $62,325.